what AEC architecture? Sir, AEC architecture. AEC architecture is uh, model controller views. Um, if you model. Want, if I'm giving some application to you, which one will do first? Model. Model. Create a model. Uh, create a model which hmm. class class is a blueprint. Uh, model same as the model. Okay. Uh, to request the front end to servlet hmm. controller. What is servlet? Servlet is the interface. Servlet is the interface. Okay. It is uh, server side uh, programming language. Uh, it is using the HTTP servlets hmm. uh, request servlet? request okay. and yeah. response. Hmm. Okay. What is the difference between servlet and the HTTP servlet? Not sure. Okay. You mentioned interface, right? What is it? Interface is the by uh, achieving the abstractions and uh, by interface interfaces is uh, to support the multiple inheritance and uh, achieving the loose coupling. Okay. It is using to static uh, static and uh, default uh, methods. Abstract methods. Abstract method default abstract methods. Okay. Can we use private methods in interface? Use but Java it. Uh, Java 8 version, so we cannot use Java 8 version, so we can use. Okay, in a 1.9 version, we have private methods also. In 1.8, we have a static and default. Okay, so what is abstract? Abstraction is the hiding the implementation of uh, implementation details mm -hmm. and showing the functionality of uh, functional uh, functionality of the user. Uh, it mm -hmm. is achieving to by referring the abstract class and interfaces class. Why we are keeping abstract for a class if you have already interface? Interface so we are achieving the abstraction. Then why you should go for abstraction? Abstract classes. Abstract classes is in implementing the classes. Hmm. Okay. Actually, just a second. So you have a servlet interface, yes, right? Sir. And you have a class name called HTTP servlet. So here his servlet, not servlet. Okay. It is interface. Okay. They, this is called abstract, abstract class. Abstract class. So, if you have a five methods here, I so, don't want that five methods. And in between these two, we have one more servlet, which is generic servlet. So, this is also an abstract class, we can say. Anyway, you completed this uh, servlet concept, right? So, if, if you go for an interview, let's say there is a servlet, but we are not working on a servlet. Why we are going for abstract class? Because here, instead of implementing all the five methods, Based on my choice, based on my requirement, can I call do post? Can I call do get? Can I call do, do delete? It. Whatever it is, based on my requirement, whatever the choice I need, I can go for a concept of HTTP servlet. That is the reason in your application, in our applications, we are using HTTP servlet, which is an abstract class. But inside that abstract class, do we have any abstract methods? Yes, sir. No. Inside the HTTP servlet, we will not have any abstract methods, but even though the HTTP servlet is an abstract class. So that means abstract class does not have abstract methods also. But generic servlet, yes, we have one abstract method which is service method. If my class implements generic servlet, then I need to implement service, service method also. Method. I don't want service also. There are some drawbacks with the service method. That is where I'm going for it's HTTP servlet. servlet. So that is where you can explain the interface okay. and abstract differences with the help of servlet, generic servlet, HTTP, HTTP servlet. servlet. Right? Next, what is constructor? Constructor is uh, default constructor and parameter is constructor. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the purpose of constructors? Const no problem. To initializing the object. Uh, object or you can say whenever I am creating an object, if I want to send up some parameters to that, then we can go for a constructor. Constructor is a method which is the same name of your class. Point one. Constructor. See, now you are saying that what is constructor? Constructor is a method. Okay. Point one. Special which method. is having special method, which is having same name of your class. What is the purpose of it? Yes. For initializing the data. How many types are there? Default constructor, parameter yes. constructor. And how to invoke it? How to call it? Yes. This constructor class. will be invoked at right before the object creation. Okay. Right? So you know, right? Student mm. S equals to new student. Yes. LHS equals to RHS. RHS. Yes, first RHS, right hand side. Right hand side is Constructor is repeated first. Then only object page. Then, last point you can say that constructor will not have a return value. Because they may ask you if constructor, if I return some value, what will happen? If constructor returns a value, 
someone has to take it, right? But after constructor execution, you are supposed to create the object, object, not taking that particular primitive data type. Back. So make it point wise. Mm -hmm. Let's take it a what is exception handling and how to handle it. Exception handling is the handling the uh, exceptions, uh, number format exception, automatic expressions, exceptions. There is, there is several types of exception. Try catch, throw, throw. Throw is uh, used to if condition, if know the condition, we know the condition, uh, we can use it to throw. Throw sign, try catch, uh, we can use both uh, similar. What is the difference between try catch and throw? <laughs> try catch is surrounding the class. Uh, Exception. Uh, what is the exception? Is in uh, okay. Actually, try catch is there, right? Whenever you need a try catch, catch, right? If my data, whatever I'm going to use, if it is going to be abnormally termination, mm -hmm. but I need a successful termination of the program, then we need to put a try catch. Whereas throws is a keyword only for checked exceptions. Check -check. Even though you are handling with the throws, it is not going to be successfully terminating of the program. So, you need to take successful termination. If you need, go for a try catch. Just satisfying the compiler will go for a throws when you have a checked exception. Then the question next question is, can checked I use for unchecked exceptions or throws keyword? Use it or we cannot use or we can? I don't know. <laughs> you can use it, but there is no use. The namesake, we can write it. But no use because compiler will satisfy Chanson Ostrom Day. Whenever you need to satisfy the compiler, then go for a throws for check exceptions. Good. Finally, what is the purpose of final? Finally, is the uh, okay. to close the connection. For example, I am unable to close the connection. Using try and catch. Again, see, there is a there is a exception raised in try and catch. catch. Or try is executed smoothly. Then I came to finally. Finally. I am supposed to close the connection which was opened in the try block but I am unable to close so exception raised in the final final what you are supposed to do again you are going to write try catch yes sir sure yes sir yes we can write yes in sir in the finally block also we can write a try catch box okay is there any way to stop finally block yes there is a way that is called uh, there is a question from the most of the interviews you can say that is what system not exit okay. There, you need to pass some integer value, either it's a 0 or 100 or 1000, any integer value can pass it. So, the question is, is there any way to stop finally block? Yes, there system is a way, system dot exit. exit. Okay, only this is the one finally stop, finally uh, block can block stop. But uh, there is another question, I am using written statement inside the try block. Then your finally block will stop. I have a return in try block, but I have a finally block. Is the finally block will execute? Even though I have a return in a try block. Just now it told only one option. System. So this will work. Even though you have a return in the try block, finally block will execute always. Only once. If you used system dot exit, it won't execute. Okay. That's good. Yes. Tell me what tell me what is the difference between truncate and delete? Sir. Truncate and a delete. Truncate and delete. Delete is the uh, Using to uh, data rows of the delete. Truncate is. Any idea about truncate and drop? Right? So, drop, we use it for dropping uh, the database in the database. Or database. So, that instance is also memory. So completely memory, memory will be freed up. Right? So, whereas delete, which deals with because it is belongs to DML, so um, which deals with the rows of the, of the table. table. Right? So, any idea about on update cascade? On delete cascade. Do you use foreign key in it? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, tell me what is the difference between primary key and foreign key? Primary key is the, uh, uh, sir. Primary key is a unique value. It is constants of unique value. The same as combinations of not null and uh, d not null and unique. Foreign key is the difference between the uh, another table. For example, two tables. Uh, one table is a primary key, one table is the foreign key, table is uh, primary key, another table is uh, foreign key. So, uh, so if, I, if I have a table with the two, three primary keys and two so three foreign, foreign keys. keys, okay, is it okay for you? No, sir. Then, no in the support, you are saying. So uh, normalization. 
I have a table called student member, other member, and PAN member. These three I'll take it as a primary. And some other details like uh, student, because of student's course details or some other fee details, I'll take it as a foreign piece. Okay. So is it okay for you? No, These sir. five columns? To using the normalizations, mm -hmm. dividing the tables. Uh, yeah, three tables are there. Fee table is different, course table is different, and student table is different. But in student table, I am writing student number, other number, and PAN number as a primary key. And course ID and the uh, uh, fee ID as a foreign key. Uh, is it okay for you? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Anyway, you are trying, but uh, a table consists of only one, one primary key. It can consist of any number of foreign keys, okay. which are those numbers. Okay. Right. Super. Science. Good. You have Science. a good knowledge. You just need to improve confidence. Okay, you need to more confidence will give the good thing. Okay. Right. You so have lots of things in your brain. <laughs> when coming, right? Pieces, pieces is coming. How your sister is doing that other part of it. So like that you also try to find the sentences. Okay. That's all. But you have a good